Welcome to High Octane Power Sports Tip Series. This time around we're going to be covering how to properly clean and lube your motorcycle chain. Now we're using a street bike here, uh, but the techniques we're going to cover are equally applicable to an off-road bike or an ATV, so whatever your vehicle is, you'll be able to learn from uh, this demonstration how to properly clean and lube your chain. Now, with that said, both elements, the cleaning and lubing, are essential to maintaining the best performance of your chain over its lifetime and to get the maximum life out of your chain. Cleaning by itself is simply going to remove the protective uh, coating that the lube provides against corrosion and rust. Lubing by itself is just going to create another barrier over top of dirt, dust, and particles that are already embedded in the chain. And both of those things by themselves will still result in a reduced life of the chain and reduced performance over that lifetime. So you always want to make sure to do both. Um, the easiest way to do this entire process is by elevating the rear wheel of your motorcycle. Um, this bike has a center stand that we could be using. We're using a rear stand for illustration purposes. If you have an off-road bike, you might be using a lift stand. If you don't have a way to lift the rear wheel of your motorcycle, you can still use the same techniques we're going to show you here. You're just going to need to do it one section of the chain at a time, rolling your motorcycle forward to expose a new section of the chain as you go. Um, so no matter what, you're able to do it. Now, the best time to clean your chain is right after you've ridden your motorcycle. The chain's nice and hot, it makes it very easy for the cleaners to get in and release the old lube and pull out the dirt, dust, and particles. So right after you've gone for a good ride and gotten back is really the best time to do it when the chain's nice and hot. Now there have been a lot of products uh, in terms of cleaning the chain that have been bantered around over time uh, to be used for that purpose. Um, the problem with the non-task specific products is that it's hard to find a good balance between something that's going to be aggressive enough to get in there and break down the old lube and release the dirt, dust, and particles and still be able to preserve the O-rings and not break those down that's in there. So we like to use uh, a product made specifically for cleaning chains. This is Motul's Chain Clean, which is what we use. There are other products that are out there, um, but we just like the way the Motul one works. Uh, what you want to do is start out by spraying the chain down on the back side along the rollers and side plates, along that front side where the rollers and side plates come together as well. It's a broad enough spray, you're going to get the center of the chain and get the underside as well. The reason why the rear wheel is up in the air is so you can get it spinning. Spray down that back side, get the front side as well. Like I said, you can get the underside a little bit too. Just spray the whole thing down. Now once you sprayed it down, you want to let it sit for a few minutes. Give the uh, cleaner time to get in there, work, break down the old lube and release all that dirt, dust and grease out of there so you can get at it and get pulled up out of um, the orifices and the gaps in between there. Best way to pull that stuff up, we use a grunge brush. You can see it's a three-sided brush. That allows you to fit it over the chain, clean three sides of the chains at once so you can get the top, bottom sides back sides, front and bottom, you're able to put pressure on it uh, in the direction you're trying to clean most at that time. The bristles on this are all replaceable, so if they break or they just get too dirty, you can always replace them. Um, if you don't have a grunge brush, any hard bristled nylon brush will work just fine as well. It just takes a little bit longer. Um, get this fitted on here, get the wheel spinning, press down, press up, like I said, you can rotate it to get the back side as well. Just get it all nice and clean. Now you'll see once you're done doing that, um, you'll have pulled up a lot of grease, dirt, dust, and you want to get all that off of there. You don't just want to spray the lube on on top of it. So it's really good to run a rag over it. Again, you can do that by getting the bike spinning or getting the wheel spinning so the chain's moving. Press down the center, get all those rollers nice and clean. Get the side plates clean too, for aesthetic purposes. Um, I like also, once I've spun it, to go through each section by hand and clean it as well with the rag. What that allows me to do is to make sure that there's no kinks in the plates, that as they're coming off the sprocket, they're coming off nice and straight and not staying at an angle one way or another. 
and to make sure that there's consistent free play all the way through so that there's no tight spots in the chain, nothing that would indicate that there's any areas of the chain or O-rings or rollers that have corroded, degraded, coming apart or sticking so that I can make sure the chain spins nice and smooth all the way around. Now, once you've gone through, cleaned it, uh, gotten it all wiped down, you're ready to lube the chain. Now there are a lot of different lubes out there, everything from chain waxes that are really heavy, lithium based chain lubes, lighter full synthetic ones, um, clear, white. What chain lube is best for you and what chain, you, chain lube you want to use is part personal preference and part what your application is. Different ones are going to be better for muddy, sandy, or off-road conditions. Other ones are going to be better and more applicable to street use or better weather conditions. Um, and you can either check with your dealer or we're happy to recommend one for you here. Uh, with that said, I'm using a Motul Full Synthetic Clear, their factory chain loop. It's light, uh, it's clear, it doesn't fling, it lasts, it just it works really well, and I like it for the street bikes. Um, now the lubing point is where a lot of people go wrong with taking care of their chain. You want to be sure to lube the inside circumference of the chain. And the reason you're doing that is because the centrifugal force created by the chain spinning around the sprockets is going to push the lube outward through the chain, through the rollers, through the o-rings, and it's going to get it to where it needs to be. If you simply lube the exterior circumference around the back and underside of the chain, then all the centrifugal force is going to do is fling the lube right off your chain and it's not going to get to where it needs to be. So you want to make sure you lube that interior circumference. You're lubing this back line of plates and rollers and o-rings just right along that back ridge and the front line as well. And you don't need a whole lot. So it's good to really make sure you've got the wheel moving, you've got your nozzle lined up so that it's not going to be sitting still and you can get an even spread and then just start the flow, spray it for one circumference, switch to the front, spray that for one circumference, and you're done. Now I go through and I wipe off the excess that's on the front of the side plates and on the underside or the exterior circumference of the chain. So I don't need that and that's just going to end up flinging off. So I just spin it around once, get that wiped down, and there you are.